guys check this it is my vacation trip and I put it in every page and my teddy bear saying hi to you is this beautiful it's so pretty right so can you create like this one for ourselves in very short time yeah dad and one more thing see here yeah, if whatever the pictures you are trying to insert in your table should be kept in a folder for yourself so that whenever the web page opens up it tries to pick the pictures from the same from the same uh folder can you see here i did this already for myself so that i can see here two uh, files as well along with this you can create like this a folder i showed you in the lesson one so in the same way you can create like this and whatever the pictures you are enter uh, is in going to be inserting be placed here now let's start here was the one actually i was creating for you all it was going really well and i enjoyed it as you know we are creating our web pages using uh expression web4 and in this we are going to see uh my vacation web page right so let's see the skill focus here we're going to insert a table in this web page and we will modify the table cells inserting uh, images in cells adding background colors in cells place the table in the center of the web page how do we do that using um, uh, css we're going to do that and uh, text formatting in cells Okay, so we're going to have all these uh, in uh, this table. We're going to set all of it. We're going to learn uh, all those skills. So here you can see this is the one we're going to create. And I'd like to see about how it is uh, all about a table. A table, especially this table, got five rows. You see here, there are five rows. If I show you using... Um, uh, one mark over here first this is the first row second row third row fourth row and this is the fifth row so there are five rows and what about the columns so basically there are three columns i would say here is the first column second column and this is the third column the vertical lines are columns and the horizontal lines are uh, the rows okay so here one box is called a cell here from here this is one box is it is cell and here this is see bungee jumping here this is box one box is called a cell okay now let's now let's take new uh, html document then we will add a background to it page properties formatting and here is the background colors and select any uh, color you like okay this is my color for now and i'm gonna insert the table with the five rows and three columns here is from table insert table and here is size you will pick five rows and three columns and here specify where in the web page i want it to be 60 percent uh the width and alignment you see here i want it to be in the center and uh border of the table it's like a box uh, around the border it is and if you want to add a color to it particularly you can just have a color as a wish here then we are done just click ok now you see here this is the table can you see here there are cells there are cells if you want the borders to all of them just select all of them right click and go to cell properties here 
you see the cell borders here increase one or two as a ratio if you want to add a different color as well you can have here from here and say apply look at that we got the colors even for uh, the borders to the borders in the cells for all the cells now if you see uh, the uh, table here you see this is only one cell and here also this is totally one cell and here two rows became one cell this is called merging and even the last cell is also a single cell so in the sense we have to merge them so for that what we can do here select the first row it's very simple it's very simple okay select the first row and go to the table and modify merge cells look at that it became single cell now and even the second one i have to merge in the same way select go to the modify and merge cells perfect and even the middle one here these two i have to merge the two columns i have to merge uh, table modify and merge cells perfect now the last one as well we're going to do the same thing uh, table modify and merge cells perfect now i'm going to insert i type in some text over here about my vacation right my uh here it's up to you have you write a uh, small letter big uh, capital letters my vacation and i want it in the center so just click there and here center in the center and how big the text can go if you see here you can keep on increasing the size here, look at that this is the max size that is the heading one size okay, it is in the middle and if you want to add a different color to it yes you can do that for that you have to just go to cell properties in this cell only you have to go for cell properties and select the color uh, that's the here background color if you want to add a different color to it as well apply and okay look at that and in the second one i'm going to add the picture right click inside and go to insert picture from file go to your see this one just all keep um, a picture which is horizontal which is going to fit in the horizontal cells uh, and the vertical ones just take pictures keep the pictures which are uh, going to fit in uh, vertical cells okay so select this one and insert and we're going to give one uh, alternate text there in the sense when uh, this picture cannot display it will display then this name in that place okay so uh, I'm gonna just add banner yeah so this is a picture it'll fill up in the cell look at that now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just fit it into the cell which i can see here uh oh we're gonna just save the file let's save the file right click save uh, i'm gonna save in this as as uh what here vacation yep okay now right click on this picture go to picture properties and go to appearance and you see here just uncheck this come here to the width and it has to fill in the uh, cell right for that just take 100 percent means it has to fill the whole cell height 100 percent and uh, width is 100 percent okay now say okay there and if you want to see how it's going to be in uh, the web browser like that just go to file and just see in the web browser can you look at that yeah we are good to go now next I'm gonna insert another picture here right the teddy bear picture that I'm gonna do first I'm gonna write what all uh, the act activities I did in my vacation I'm gonna write uh, bungee jumping right Okay, uh, I'm going to write another one 
like snowboarding. Okay. Done. And who all did it? See ya. It just it's moving uh, aside. No problem. It'll adjust by itself. Uh, I just my uh, uh, dad and brother. Yeah. And me. And here, who did all this? My whole family. Right? You can just have like this some information you're gonna give uh, display. And here, we're gonna write what about uh, what you did. Just I can just copy from here as well. Like we had a great fun. See ya. If I even I can copy from here. Okay, right click, copy. And come here you can even type in or you can just paste there look at that okay just save once save once and you can just refresh here sorry the other one yeah we did not insert the picture right let's do that one as well right now okay click the cursor here and go to insert pictures from file and here now the teddy i'm gonna write that teddy okay yeah see it's looking uh, uneven right again right click on the picture go to picture properties appearance and you're gonna just set it to fill the uh, cell right again what you have to see there it's 100 percent percent it is be careful with that 100 uh, percent filling the cell okay just save and let's check in the web page how it is now see there was no teddy before now let's see how's it yep look at that yeah even you can uh try adjusting the cells if you want just move it aside like this okay just for now we can leave it yeah and uh, you see here it is on the top right we want it to be down a little bit uh, so that it looks uh, better in the uh, web page yeah for that we have to create one CSS file Okay, let's go for it here new and css click there and come here to new style and since we are working with a uh, table right we're going to type in there table yep here was the table click inside and come to the box here uh, right and left top i'm just going to uh, put the margin to be uh, let's see first of all 50 pixels sorry 50 pixels uncheck this first of all okay no one more time I'll take here uh, it is table for me okay so come to the box and here first uncheck and here I'll take 50 pixels of margin. Okay, it's pixels. Keep it pixels. And right and left should be auto. Right and left should be auto. Okay. So if you want uh, any the layout to be fixed or something, uh, type that we can do. Just, just leave for now. Just put there and okay look at that this is my css file and i have to save it now i will save it in my same folder uh with the same name but it is uh css so that i can link it easily i can remember it as well now i have to uh, attach the css to my this html file for that what we have to do uh, here attach style sheet 
browse and uh, where is this is I'm in yep okay and okay look at that there we got a space over there uh, but it will be clear in the page just click once there and come to this now look at that there is no space on the top right but you'll get there space like this that's possible with css and do you want different colors over here it, it's looking just the same color right that we can do it from here back here now i want this to be in the middle uh here select first these two and even this one i want all of the text to be in the center and i want the color look at that these two color right click on this go to cell properties and it is background color i can choose a different color or you just come here you will have a hell of colors uh, you can pick any one you like yeah this one or this one as a wish it is uh, something like this it's up to you okay and okay look at that you can increase the size of the uh, the text as well yeah do you want to increase the size of the text select here and increase the size of the text look at that okay it's too big and this one as well you can increase a little bit for all of them you can do like this look at that even you can make it bold even here you can make it bold and you can change the color of it as well you can do for all of the text it's up to your um, uh, imagination and creativity i would say here also i'm just on the center of the text and i want to increase the size and also i want to just fold in that yeah and i'd like to change the color of it can you change the color of it see from here itself you can change the color of it if you want did it change okay now i'm going to change from here right click go to the uh, cell properties and i will change the color this side a different color uh now i'm gonna just change to this color apply and okay and if you want to just apply okay now if you want to change the color of it as well just right click hold down the, the control uh, sorry leave it. font and the change uh the color right i'd like to change a white color yeah it's up to you any color you can change and even this one i'd like to change the background color of it go to cell properties and change the color here uh to something purple or the green okay yeah now it's looking good and anything more save once and let's refresh here to see the look of it yep now how's it if you want you can have your own colors uh, your own uh, pictures as well if you want to change the background of the color if it's looking too much yeah here right click page properties you can change to something very light color as well here go to more colors and very light something like this okay save and you can come here and refresh the page 